I would imagine you don't get a lot of these calls because you do a very good job of educating your clients. But I would imagine some insurance agents do get calls saying, oh my gosh, how is this not covered? What is something that typically is not covered where people just automatically assume they're gonna file a claim and have it covered? So the exclusions I think are very simple and there's nothing that's going to catch a homeowner off guard. Okay. Um, you have things that are excluded like war, nuclear explosion, flood insurance, right. which is a key topic um, when purchasing a home. Um, because people assume that flood insurance is going to be part of their home insurance policy package right. and a standard home insurance policy is not going to include flood insurance separate it's, policy would have to be purchased so is that is, is, so it, let's say um your finished basement floods from just a quick rainstorm that's not covered unless you have flood insurance correct okay so i like to say there's three main water claims that can happen with a property okay. not to limit it to only these three but you can have a pipe that bursts and the resulting damage. Right. Typically a standard home insurance policy is gonna cover that sudden release of water and the okay. damage that it's caused. It's not gonna fix the pipe itself that has busted or ruptured because that's seen more as a home repair maintenance issue. Right. Um, then you're gonna have water backing up through a sewer or drain. That's right. an interior sewer or drain. The only way you have coverage for that is if you have an endorsement. That's not a basic peril included on a standard home insurance policy. It has to be endorsed. Okay. And then third is that flood. Water seeping in from the outside in through the walls to the windows. Um, if an exterior drain gets backed up and that water starts coming inside, the only way that you're going to have coverage is via a flood insurance policy. So let's say I'm not in a flood zone. What is your recommendation? So I would have to correct you and say that everyone is in a flood zone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's whether you're in a low risk flood zone or a high risk okay. flood zone. So we offer it to everyone. Um, of course, some lenders will require it if you're in a high risk flood zone. Right. Um, but we present it to everyone and let them make that educated decision if they need it or not. Are you in a flood zone, your house? I'm in a low risk flood zone. Do you have flood insurance? I do not. Okay. So I'm Iris Wayne Scott with Next Generation Insurance. I am a risk advisor. So I have options to protect some of your top assets. Um, building an insurance portfolio for things like your home, your auto, life, business, commercial. Um, I pride myself on giving my members education, education needed so that they can make a secure, confident decision on building a robust insurance portfolio that's going to protect themselves and their family.